Okay. Okay. Um, you all, we're going to be discussing thermal curling. And when it when we deal with thermal curling, it's going to be a, 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 a part of your uh, state board examination, as well as when we're working with our clients here on a clinic floor. And we're going to deal with safety precautions when it deals with thermal curls not just safety only for you but also for your client too with because we don't want to burn our clients hair we want to know the proper um, usage and how to use our thermal curls so the proper uh, 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 demonstration of using the curling iron and understanding the dynamics of being able to move to a more advanced scale we're gonna deal with some of the basics on how to actually produce a curl. Now, in the process, and we're working with clients, it varies from client to client, whether if you would, what type of products that you will use. When we're working with someone that has extremely curly hair, or we wanna see maximum shine in a hair, we want a very uh, uh, structured curl where it just has a lot of definition in that curl. That's the direction that we're going to go in. This is just one way. Everybody say one way. Okay. So in that one way, we're going to talk about some of the items and things that we need to have. We're going to make sure that we have set up on our station. We have our brush, our combs that we can use which is, um, I have my paddle brush, flat back brush, paddle brush. Also, I have an all-purpose comb, as well as a rat tail comb. Continuing, I have duck fields, these clips. Also, you have your alligator clips, too, that you can use. I have double prone clips, so we can take and clip at the base. And I also have neck strips. You all know what the neck strips are for. And I have my can of oil sheen and my shaper. So with that being, I'm gonna also have my Marcel irons. Now we know that we have two type of irons and what are those two types that we have regular and electric regular and electric exactly so the regular and electric irons will actually be using our ovens on today so you all will know how to use your Marcel regular Marcel irons I'm gonna go in and drape my client so I'm gonna have a neck strip and you all can also use a tile as well. I'm gonna take and put the neck strip on her neck and uh, put the cape on. Universal capes will be absolutely wonderful. We're gonna be preparing for our mock exam and this is dealing with the first client, which your first setup. And it's going to be thermal curling and also hair cutting. So over this next week, we're gonna really be practicing no theory class at all. It's all gonna be out on the clinic floor when we're working with thermal, cur thermal curling and also hair cutting. We're gonna be preparing for a mock exam, so you all have to make sure that you get your items together and ready for this exam. I'm gonna take my cape, make sure that I only secure it onto the next strip. Oh, falling out. Fall out, put it very back on. Sometimes that Velcro, it just, you know, wear and tear. Okay. All right, good. Now, Anytime that you're working with short hair and short hair clients and you're doing the thermal curl and you're getting ready to feather her and she wants just a nice look, short, rounded off, 
bob um, and we want our bow cut type of style or maybe she wants spikes. We have botanical oil that we can use after molding them and placing them under the hair dryer. And when they come out, you'll be combing that hair through. And while combing that hair through, you want to make sure that you get some oil so you can infuse into that hair. The oil that we'll just take and mist it onto the hair really nicely just so it'll help to give a nice shine to the hair. So after I take and I oil it, I'm just going to brush through it. And a lot of our elderly clients as well, and they come in and they want these curls that are really tight. And we uh, sometimes when you all are curling that hair, it has a tendency to just kind of frizz up. Like it doesn't give no real strong definition curl. It means that that hair needs some oil on it before you go in and curl that hair. So I'm just going through brushing that oil through that hair. After doing so, I'm gonna take my red tail comb and my hairspray. So now I'm getting ready to, the adhesive that's in the hairspray is going to help to stick to that hair. I wanna make sure that I go in and take some partings and hit it up at the base. You want to make sure that you saturate your base and it doesn't have to be completely wet, just mist. So we're talking about about um, five to six inches away from the head that you want to make sure that you go in. Completely saturate the whole section. I'm not going to do it with my mannequin. I'm just going to show you. But when you start demonstrating, you're going to saturate the whole entire head. After you saturate the base at the whole entire head, throughout the whole entire head, now what's needed is for you to comb through so that product can help to melt down through to the mid shaft as it goes through to the ends. Now, I'm going in and I'm combing that product through that hair and it's going to become nice until I want to comb through it until it dries. Once that product dries through that hair, then it's just about time for me to start demonstrating or, you know, giving the service that's desired and that's the thermal curl. Now, we want to make sure that we are parting subsections and sections for control. So if you desire, we're going to make a plane to the head, a bound, creating boundary lines on a plane of the head, and it's only what, what inches give you all control? Two. Two inches. So we're going to go in and we're going to part two inches. I'm going to come in and part on both sides because I want maximum control in the process of working. I'm gonna create the basic set that we normally do. So I'm gonna have a total of five sections. First section, center left and center right, two inch partings on the plane of the scalp. Now I'm gonna turn it towards the side and I'm gonna go down the parietal ridge to slightly behind the ear, separating the front from the back. I'm going to go ahead on and clip that out the way. Take and clip that out the way. And then you have your back section as well. When you're traveling and creating your boundary lines down the center, making sure that you don't go wider when you're in the pariah to ridge area, which is the largest area of the head. I'm gonna go in and take and twist this hair out the way and take my clip so it can help to give me much control. I don't wanna work with hair just all over the entire head.
So I'm going to continue to create. Heart. Right here. Down the pariah to ridge to slightly behind the ear. Separating the front from the back. Take, clip my sections out the way. Now, now I have a total of one, two, three, four, and five. Five sections, two on each side, and one down the center like a mohawk. When our product, after you have taken and went through and put your pocket up, up, made it pliable to the hair, and you have your irons into your, uh, into your um, oven, you want to test your iron before you begin. Now, I'm just going to go and put it on here and see what happened. Do you all see that? If you don't test your irons, this is what can happen. It burns off. And so if this was some hair on this light paper, you know, you always want to test it on a piece of light paper. And if it burns off, this is what's going to happen to the hair, okay? And to keep in mind, if the hair is burnt, it cannot be conditioned. That means that the hair is gone. You need to, need to cut it away and be done with it, okay? So that's what that will look like. So I'm just going to wait until my irons cool off. Um, does this make your iron cool faster? That's just cute. You know, people just get up there and just wind their irons like this, okay? But uh, you all make sure that you just keep that in mind. It just makes it look good. Okay, I'm going to go in and test again. If it decolorized, that means that it's too hot to go on the hair. It's not showing that, no, any type of decoloration, so I'm going to begin. First thing first is we want to establish a base. Everybody say establish a base. Establish a base. I want to make sure that I'm doing have the diameter of that burl so you can test away from the head, making sure it's the same diameter of that hair. I'm gonna do a on base curl, so I'm gonna take and elevate that hair away from me. Now, when I establish a base, everybody say establish a base. I'm gonna take my iron and just lay it on top of the hair. Where? Yeah, right at the um, crease, but not on the scalp. I'm gonna take it and pull it out, and now it gives me a nice little bump there at the base. That lets me know where the iron is going to be inserted. Now, your iron is composed of the burl as well as the shell. Now, the burl has to go in while the shell is on the outside of the hair and the burl is on the inside of the hair if we're creating volume. Everybody say volume. Okay, so now I'm just going to take and lay that hair on that burl. Do you all see that the iron, let's see. The iron is yet still open. The shell of the iron is open and the hair is laying over the burl. And with that being, you want to make sure that you lay it so you don't create any fish hooks. So the iron, and I want you to look at the shell, and the shell is sitting at 9 o'clock. I'm going to slightly turn that burl to 12 o'clock. That means that it's sent up towards the ceiling. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to silk through that hair. Once I go in and silk through that hair, that's the silking part. So I established the base. I went in and I silked that hair. Now I'm going to establish my curl. So I'm going to insert back at 9 o'clock. Lay that hair down over the barrel while the shell is still open. Then slightly turn that shell to nine uh, at 12 o'clock. I'm going to take and wrap that hair around that barrel. 
wrap it around the burl and take it down close almost to the scalp but not exactly on the scalp about a half an inch to an inch away from the scalp then i'm gonna start the manipulation rotating allowing the heat to open up the hydrogen bonds everybody say hydrogen bonds it's going to open the hydrogen bonds up so it'll alter the curl of the hair and turn it to the form of the shape of the burl. I'm feeding the hair all the way through the burl, through into the shell until it's closed. Now, once I reach that point, then I'm gonna take my comb, leaving the hair about an inch and a half away, placing that comb, then I'm gonna roll it down so I can protect the scalp area so my client don't get burned. After I test with the at the scalp area, I'm gonna roll it back out a half an inch and then take my comb and take it vertical across the burrow that is on the horizontal. And then I'm just gonna move the hair off of that burrow. Take it and move it on off that burrow. And once I move it off, now I have established curl. That curl, once I establish it, I want to get my clip and I want to put my clip at the base of that head. Now we have a burl curl is what we see, which was a question on your test. So therefore you have a nice little burl curl and that's how you're going to produce it. Again, I'm going to show you one more time and you all will be able to see again. Take it into a different direction. I'm going to park my subsection. And it's an artistry. I'm combing that hair forward, taking my comb, putting it, the teeth into my thumb, and closing my thumb up over it. I'm going to take my irons, test my irons on my strip, making sure there is no decoloration. I'm going to establish a base that's just taking and putting that hair over, and then I'm just going to take and move it. Allows me to know, hey, that's exactly where your um, girl is going to go to. So now I'm going to take and go in and silk through this hair. I'm going to silk through, and after I silk through, then I'm going to go in and establish my curl. So I'm going to go in, wrap that hair on around, and continue to manipulate open close, open close, until this hair feeds all the way through to the middle of that burl. I'm going to take my comb and support the scalp area. After I support the scalp area, I'm going to roll it back out, and then I'm going to turn it vertically. So now I have my established curl. Clip it at the base. That's my two curls. So you all are gonna go to your stations and we're gonna prepare, we're gonna set up. You have your electric or you can use the Marcel. If you do not know how to use Marcel irons, you're gonna practice using them with them being what? Cold. Cold, yes, you want them to be cold. So that's what we're gonna do. So um, everybody put your hands on me, towards me, give me good juju's. And at the count of three, we're gonna just say, curl at her, curl at her. One, two, three. Curl at her, curl at her. All right, let's go.